Hey guys, it's John P with GeekBeat TV, and today we're gonna talk about the Kef X300As. Okay guys, you may recall that about two months ago I did a review, I kind of did an overview of my new desktop and told you about how much I'm loving all these different things, one of which was the new Kef X 300A speakers. Now these are very unusual speakers and you will see that they actually have migrated from my desk in the office to my desk at home where I can enjoy them even more because they're so loud I was blasting everybody out and Callie didn't like it. So let's talk about them. I'm going to tell you what I love. Okay, first of all, these things are not cheap. They're like $800 for the pair. So let's just get that right out of the way. The question becomes, who are these speakers for? Well, number one, if you've got enough money, it's not a big deal, just get them. That's it, just end of the story. Get them, you're gonna love them. Now, let's say that it's a lot of money to you, which it is to most people. The question is, what does it take to justify them? Well, if you're like me, and you watch at least as much video and listen to audio and things on your computer as you do your television or more, you really should think about investing in a really high quality set of speakers like these. Let me tell you about them. First of all, they look gorgeous, as you can see. They've got just a beautiful uh, bl black faceplate. They've got a brushed kind of metal exterior and they've left the face open. There's no speaker grill on it because they use the Kef Unique uh, design that is a dual driver system. This part right here, this is a one inch soft dome tweeter, and then this part out here is a five and a quarter inch mid base unit. You can see that it has a rubber ridged surround, and this is like an aluminum cone. You can see when I push on it, um, it, you know, this part is moving. However, the centerpiece is on a stem in there and it doesn't move. The tweeter stays put. Now, the combination of those two drivers means you get really good, high, crisp, you know, notes and you get nice, deep notes because it's not one driver trying to do everything. They've divvied up the work. What they've also divvied up is the amplification. The little tweeter gets its own dedicated 20 watt amplifier in each speaker and this mid bass unit gets a 50 watt amplifier. Now you need to have more power to the bass than you do to the treble because it just, it just requires more power to sound relatively equal. So these things have a lot of power, they've got good drivers, excellent build quality. How do they work? This is where they're really different and I think quite awesome. Like I said, each one has its own power amplifier, so they each are plugged into their own 110 watt outlet, which I actually have a strip running right down here. And uh, so one of these is for one speaker, one's for the other. The way they connect together is fairly unique. You will notice if we turn it so you can see the back, that uh, first of all, you see a big amplifier brick sticking out here and there's a port here for the base to come out so that the base is enhanced. And on the back, this is the kind of passive speaker. There's just the power, and then there is a USB input. That is coming from the other speaker. So that speaker is sending through a normal USB cable over to this speaker. Now, let's take a look at the other speaker because this is the one that's kind of the control speaker. This one is the one that's listening uh, or getting the signal from the computer. So here, what we've got is the amplifier cooling fins. We have a USB cable that comes in from the computer. You'll see it says USB in. USB, that is a big key point. This is not a little three and a half millimeter jack, it's USB. So that shows up, that shows up as a device in your uh, computer and you just choose it for the output. Then this is the USB that goes out to the other speaker, just a standard USB uh, micro cable, I mean mini cable, not micro. 
And then we got power. We do have an on off switch. And then right here we have a system gain knob. So you can turn the, the power down to minimum. I have it on max because I like it loud. So uh, that's about it. Now there's one other thing. You, you have a switch here. And if it's on a stand, which ooh, I used to have it on a stand. I need to flip that back over to desk. Now it's on a desk. So that changes the equalization settings. And that is about it. So what, what I found that uh, sounds kind of best is when I have the two speakers pointed kind of towards me so that I'm in the middle of it. Now they can point straight forward, but I like it like this. And that way when I play my favorite songs and stuff, it sounds like the sound is coming from the monitor. It doesn't sound like left and right speakers. Cool. It sounds like the monitor. And it is awesome. Oh, yes. Get your towels ready, it's about to go down. Everybody in the place. I know you guys can't really fully enjoy this, but it is loud. It is loud enough that I can drive anybody else out of the house. And the bass is really exceptional. So that's that's a review of the X300As. I absolutely love these speakers. I think that if they were a fraction of the price, everyone would want to own these. As is, everyone wants to own them. I know some people can't afford them, but if it's right there on the cusp of your budget, I would say you cannot go wrong and they're gonna last a long, long time. So. Big thumbs up from me. You guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And you guys stay tuned to youtube.com forward slash geekbtv for even more coverage. I'm out of here. Get up on the boat and it's going fast.